Thanks, Alicia. You know, I don't know if it's really that it's just been absolutely bitterly cold or whether we're just spoiled because we usually have a January thaw, but I gotta guarantee you one thing. The last few weeks have not been very good. I was gonna say cool, but it's been freezing. So I'm planning to do a little escape from it all. I'm prepping the old AYL Jeep for an excursion that we're gonna be taking to the Southland where we're going to escape the cold and go to one of the biggest four by four adventures that happens in the West. Winter on the Rocks, that is a one year event that uh, we all get together, go down to uh, the Hurricane St. George area and play on the dunes, play on some trails and get together with family and friends and just have a great time. Most of the people that are down there I don't get to see more than a, once or twice a year so it's kind of like a reunion. You know where there are red slick rocks and full blue skies and challenges around every turn of the trail, you'll find 4 by 4s being pushed to the limit by drivers in search of outdoor thrills such as the atmosphere at Winter on the Rocks held annually out of Washington County Fairgrounds, just a couple of miles east of downtown Hurricane, which is just a little bit north of St. George. Each winter, hundreds of rigs, I mean really hundreds of rigs from the most extreme rock crawler to the tamest old stock SUV, clamor over boulders and through canyons so red it's if they have a permanent sunburn. In fact, the environment is so striking, it is actually shocking to visitors who've never seen it before. I think it's the closest thing you can get to Moab without going to Moab. It's similar colors, you have a lot of the red rock, the orange rock, the orange sand. The rock is similar to Moab, where it's kind of the rough, slick rock. There's many, many trails down there, and we've worked with the BLM to mark the trails so people know where they should and shouldn't go. And, uh, and so if you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna meet you on this trail, a bunch of you go there, and then you just have a good time. Well, you would think that good time would be had exclusively while exploring or conquering obstacles. Sometimes, surprisingly enough, it's actually the moments of defeat, the sound of breaking metal that echoes through the desert. Now, those of us who drive on the street, they go, this is terrible. But when you're in a 4x4 four four crowd, that's like a sign of victory. Last year was the first time I had a uh, catastrophic breakdown. <laughs> Dave's idea of a good time is when he <laughs> breaks something. <laughs> and he broke something and we spent a long time trying to figure out how to get him out of it. I actually uh, broke an axle on an obstacle that I should not have been on. Uh, it was a little bit over uh, my Jeep's head. And with the help of friends, we were able to get back down to the parking lot, put it on a trailer, and we actually fixed it that night. We were in an actual play area, so it was a good time to break. <laughs> you know, it's funny that someone would say something like that, but that's exactly the attitude Jeepers have. It isn't just about the trails you hit, or the rocks you hit on the trail, or the size of the rock you climbed. It's the memories of the broken axles and the funny stories about how you got your rig out that makes those events so much fun. Oh, the smiles may be a little bit crooked, but the camaraderie and that hand on your shoulder, followed by an old friend saying, haven't seen you in a while, we've missed you. These are the things that bring me back to Winter on the Rocks each year. And the best part of it is, everyone is invited to join us January 24th, 25th. A lot of people, especially if they're new, they're not sure if their vehicle can do it or not, but there is actually easy trails. So there are people that go down just in stock SUVs and stock Jeeps and so you don't have to have a rock crawler or anything like that. So I'd love to invite all of you to come down to Winter on the Rocks and have a great time with us. Well I'll tell you, I for one am really planning on escaping this crud, getting down to some amazing warm weather, some beautiful challenging 4x4 drives, running into a bunch of my old friends including maybe Bob Weldy who'll go out and ride with us for a day, maybe talk Darren into coming down and just having a blast. So if you want to join us, you can still register by going to winterontherocks.com and signing up, and we'll see you there in a couple of weeks. Steve and Alicia, back to you.